Hi, Stage 3. Welcome to Drama for Week 3. This week, our learning intention remains the same, so we're still learning to respond critically to a range of drama works and performance styles. We'll be successful when we can reflect on drama traditions and early films, when we can recognise personal, social and cultural aspects in drama, when we can form and communicate an opinion, so we've already started to do that um, more so last week, and when we can then evaluate a drama performance in order to reflect on and then begin to develop our own drama, that should say my own drama. Last week we learned that there are several forms of drama, such as improvisation, mime, video drama, play building, and lots, lots more. We also learned that there are elements of drama. Now the elements are so critical to uh, adding to the enjoyment of a performance or the enjoyment of drama. So these include tension, space, time, focus, mood, and many, many others. We also learned about silent movies, and we learned that a silent movie is a movie with no sound. They were very popular about 100 years ago. The actors had to be very dramatic, and then often they would use melodrama to help enhance their performance, and they had to be dramatic in order to convey the story to the audience. They also used title screens for some speech, and then they often also had a piano player or an orchestra to provide some backing music for the film, and that music was often played live while the movie was playing. For the next couple of weeks, you're going to be planning, scripting, filming and editing your own silent movie. So this work will go over week three and week four. And in these Google slides, you will find the work for week three as well as week four. When you see the slide that says stop, you must stop the work for week three. And then we will continue from that stop sign for the week for the work for week four. So let's have a go. This week, you'll need to begin to plan and create your own silent movie. But before you begin planning, I want you to click on this link and it will take you to um, an example of a silent movie that was made by somebody else at home. After you've watched that, you then need to work through the next few slides and you need to start planning your silent movie. So the first thing you need to do is you need to think of a funny story idea that you can tell without words. So we, use, we call that slapstick in acting. And around the outside, we've got a few famous um, actors who use slapstick. Charlie Chaplin is probably the most famous one there that you might have already heard of and um, you can actually research these to get some more ideas, these actors. So the way that it means that it works is that something will normally go wrong for someone. They keep trying again and again to do something but they keep for failing or they think they're acting really cool but then they trip over something or they get a pie in the face or they are caught doing something naughty. So there are some ideas that you could use at home. There are so many more that you could do. Once you've worked that out, you've had a bit of a think, I want you to write down your idea in this box. So you can type into that box. Otherwise, you can uh, write your ideas down on a piece of paper and then you can insert a photo onto that slide. Step three, you need to decide and plan where you can set up your camera to create a locked off shot. Now remember, a locked off shot means that the camera does not move. Because remember in the olden days, especially 100 years ago, the software they used was so, so big and they couldn't pick up that camera and move it. So you'll need enough room to capture people in full length. This is when you can see their whole body. And down the bottom here, you've got an example of how you can see the whole body of those people. Step four, you need to set up your camera and shoot your silent film scene. Remember to make the slapstick as silly and funny as you like. That way it's most enjoyable for the audience. You also need to make sure you use your body and facial expressions to show a lot of emotion because the more you exaggerate or overact, the better it's going to be and the more enjoyable and funny it's going to be for your audience. So remember, think big, use lots of big actions. And then you need to stop. And we'll continue with the rest of the slides next week. So your job today is to plan your film and to film your idea as well. You might need to get some people from your family to help if you would like. So you might need to do this a little bit later in the week, which is completely fine. But just have a go and do your best work. Don't worry about uploading your video. We're going to talk about what to do with your film next week. Have fun.